The relevance of behavior rule. Well, rule, that's a stretch, but you get the idea, right? Okay, here we go. Um, so the, the only behaviors that are likely to produce reinforcement in the natural world without any sort of behavior analyst present or interventionist or whatever um, present, those are the behaviors we should be focusing on for habilitation, for trying to, uh, trying to fix, if you will, okay? Um, because if we don't, if we just change behavior for the sake of behavior change, then the therapist is wasting their time. You could argue you're being unethical with the client because there's no reason to do it in the first place because it's not going to be a functional response for them in the real world. So think of it that way. Functional, real world. If if that behavior is going to serve them a real purpose in the real world, go ahead and work with it. If not, leave it the F alone.